Welcome back to another edition of Devil Dog Treasure Hunters. Why we treasure hunt? Try that. See if you guys like that. Probably not, but hey, you gotta try something different. You don't want to do the same thing. So I bought another online unit today. Um, ladies, I'm trying to find a unit. Hopefully this is the one for you. If it isn't, I apologize. But uh, so we bought this unit right here. Four hundred and four hundred dollars plus I think it's four sixty eight total with tax and buyer's premium to hold nine yards. And I'll tell you why I bought it. Uh, we're going to launch an online auction soon, high bid. So it's a test unit to try to do. Plus, I've seen a couple of things I like. I see some shoes in there. see some golf clubs. see a metal detector. Um, a lot of trash bags. So trash bags usually mean clothes. Uh, my wife needed some clothes, and she's like, Richard, find me some clothes. And I've been unable to find some clothes for her selling on Poshmark. But you can see a couple bicycles, a little bicycle rack, uh, camp, camping bags. But Monopoly Elvis, that right there on eBay, I think is like, or Amazon is like 60 bucks new. Um, but eBay, I'm not sure. But here's pictures of it. 10 by 10 unit. A lot of trash bags. I mean, looking at trash bags, if you look at the trash bags, look at the pictures. You see the little sharp edges and stuff? Usually that's not closed. That's actually product. So somebody got in a hurry to pack it up or somebody got lazy moving. Um, Little orange Plano tackle box. We got some shoes on top, some shoes there, some shoes there, piece of furniture. Nothing crazy, but $468. I'll give it a whirl, try it out. It ain't that far. Easy pickup. It's a, the facility's only like an hour and 15 minutes away from me. So, there's, the metal, there's a good picture of the metal detector right there. Cheaper metal detector. I'm guessing it's probably a Trident Viper. That's what they look like. Um, not expensive metal detector, but a decent metal detector. Probably a couple hundred bucks for reselling them if it works. Um, Let's look at the description. The description said, bicycle, golf clubs, wooden chest of drawers, tackle box, and more. 10 by 10 unit. So, I bought it. We're going to see what it is. Stay with us. We'll go through it. Check it out. Show you what we find. See you outside. All right, so we just got a unit. Uh, Mr. Richard's not here right now, but he will be here at some point. But look at all of these freaking bags. Are you kidding me? Filled with shoes and clothes, but majority shoes. Got the tables kind of going already. Tons of shoes. And that's like, it's like four bags worth probably. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna put them on the tables and then I'll go through the processing like we usually do but it's just a lot of bags so we can't really start or else you know it'd be a lot of cutting and all that so um we're gonna put them all on the table and then we'll show you a clip of that hey guys <laughs> all right little update got a lot of tables going so far some of the stuff is definitely for poshmark not ebay but i'll walk around you got a few pairs of jordans a lot of vans Air Forces, Converse, Puma. Nothing too crazy yet. But again, I'll show you guys the highlights when we get done. A lot of it's just waste right now. So we're pretty much finished up with all the shoes and everything. This is what the tables are looking like. Yes, yeah, so pretty full. Another truck came in, but. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the highlights of what we came across shoe-wise. Alright, so we're finished with all the shoes. We just finished up. There's still a lot of bags to go through, but we don't think they're shoes. It's just, you know, miscellaneous stuff, junk, toys, you know. It was a, I, don't, I don't know where this unit was from. Um, definitely household stuff, but here's what we have left. So all of this is what we have left bags, suitcases, boxes, all of this, golf clubs, and these are the tables of shoes we have so far. Yup. Yeah. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is go through the highlights of the shoes, because, you know, not all of them you guys are going to be interested in, only a few. So I'm going to pick and show you guys the upper scale shoes that at least they're trending, or people would shoot more for if they saw them on eBay. All right, 
these might be small, but you know, even for parents of you know kids in middle school, elementary school, vans are very popular. Um, go with everything, not too expensive. Got these. I mess with them a little bit. Seven size, seven point five, or size five point five. Size 5.5 right there. I'll put them on the table and I'm done with them. Next are the Adidas Superstars. You know, a lot of you know the girls wear these. Pretty popular shoe. These are size nine and a half. Not too shabby. Nine and a half. Got some more superstars, more superstars. Um, these are navy blue. These were black, black and white, navy blue and white. Um, these are a little more worn than the other ones, not too bad though. Ways you can tell by these, sometimes, you know, by the, the toe creasing. I'm sure you guys know a lot about shoes. Not too bad. These are size nine and a half, like I said, yep. Nine and a half. And these right here. These are a hit. White Air Forces, a go-to. I believe these are, yeah, 7.5. 7.5, now these are, the laces have a little browning going on, um, creasing in the toe, you know, all that kind of stuff brings down the price. Creasing's a little more harder to clean than laces and soles, but these are pretty easy to clean in general. But yeah, these are good. Got some Puma Clydes. I really, in high school, haven't seen, I've never been into Puma. I'm more of a Vans, Nike, Adidas. Um, these are all right though, you know, I like them. I know definitely older generations wore them. Try to get this to focus. Don't want to focus, but yeah, Puma Clydes. Size 8.5. 8.5s. So we got some more superstars. Um, these are gold and white. These are really a popular hit too. Love. Girls especially like these. You know, guys kind of wear them, but mainly girls. I'm dropping them. Um, these are size nine and a half. They seem to be all nine and a half. All right. I'm keeping these. I'm keeping these. I'm keeping. I love my Vans. Um, size 10 and a half, like I said, I can squeeze, especially with Vans, but, you know, can't get enough of Vans. You know, I got, <laughs> those are my feet. I've had those for about a year. I love them. Um, can't go wrong with Vans at all. All right, those are kind of the more trendy ones. I can go over a few of the ones that are good, but not a size that's popular. Um, there's a few in here that will be better if they are bigger. Um, and I'll go over those with you guys too. KD's kind of an older, trendy shoe. Not so much, you know, now, but in the past, these were good. Um, these are a size five youth. So, you know, more for parents with kids out there. But like I said, these were bigger too. Like I said, not as in the trend right now, but. These are good. Another pair of Vans, not for me, but you know, for you females out there, hey, maybe some guys, I guess, um, could rock these, I'm sure. Um, these are a size, seven point five, seven point five. Good shape too. Just a little dirt around the sole, but you know, Vans are easy to clean. Remember what I said about New Balance, more 990s, 990s are good. Um, these are obviously not for anywhere close to my age, but these are size five. Um, like I said, nothing too crazy since they're small, but these are good. Got some Air Jordans, a hit. These are size 5.5 youth. Like I said, not too big, which they're bigger. We might've hit the gold pot. These are a little dirty though. Um, you know, a lot of these are either collectors or resellers that, you know, keep them clean, stock. But these are 
nothing I don't think any resellers would go for, but these are good. Not to go over Converse too much, because you know, not too expensive, it's not like you can't get them at the store or anything like that, but of course they're in our eBay or wherever we decide to sell them, so, um, you know, always pick them up if you can get them cheap. 9.5 men's, not too bad. I don't really, I've never really, I think I've had like one pair of Converse in my life. I'm um, not really good to for me, but, you know. All right, I'm going to bring the camera over, and for you guys that were into Nike as a middle schooler, you know that Roshis, I don't know if you've heard of Nike Roshis. Um, they're always a hit. They're not too expensive. You can get them in a lot of different colors. You know, go to when you need shoes. But I'll show you some of the ones we have. All right. So we got gray Roshis, navy blue, like an army green. Yup. Like the Roshis, apparently. Love the Roshis. All right, we got some Adidas Samoas. Um, you know, these would be a little fresh from my little jacket, but these are, I don't know, I don't, I don't really like these too much, but these are a size nine. I like them, um, won't wear them, but I'm sure, you know, these are clean, not too bad, easy to, you know, clean up if you need to, but not too much creasing, but yeah, it's pretty good. All right, for my skaters out there, I never really was a skater myself, but um, Janoski's older trend, I, you know, I like them. Um, these are a size seven, very clean, very clean. Um, like I said, soles, easy to clean off, and we'll probably do that, um, but not, you know, no marks on top or on the bottom, soles look pretty good, um, so yeah. Size seven. Got some more Jordans. I like them. Um, size 5.5 youth. They are all right. Um, I never was a Jordan pro myself. I never really got into Jordans. Um, but, you know, I like these. Pretty cool, not too dirty, a little creasing going on, on the toe. But, you know, I've seen worse. Got some more Vans, high tops. Uh, I like them. I like high top Vans. I don't. I don't own. I don't, actually don't own any right now. I have though, you know, size 10. Pretty good. Little little worn up, but like I said, Vans are easy to manage. Uh, I like them. So that's about all the good sets of shoes we have. Um, you know, got a lot of you know other stuff that'll sell pretty good, but these are the majority of the ones that are you know popular. Um, but that's just the shoes out of it. And I'll show you what we have left. Um, like I said before, this is what we have to go through next. And that'll be Mr. Richard processing, not me. So we'll see you in that part. Hey, so I had Hayden work on a video this morning. I was out buying. So I told Hayden, I said, have fun, make a YouTube video. He knows about the shoes more than I do. Um, I don't really mess with shoes a lot. I get them occasionally. I usually don't buy lockers with shoes in it. Not that shoes aren't worth buying. 100% they are. I just don't target lockers like that. Um, now I'll buy them. This one right here, complete surprise, unit full of trash bags. We showed you pictures in the intro. Um, good unit. I think I spent 468 bucks total with, with buyer's premium online unit. Literally took four hours to pick the unit up, drive up there, pick it up, come back, sort of close. Kayla's bumping into me. Um, so you've seen the shoes. Hayden showed you the shoes. We'll go around, I'll show you a little bit of stuff that we've uncovered. Um, we got some games, Elvis games. That on Amazon, I think is $61 new, shrink wrap. Doesn't mean it's $61 on eBay, probably not. Um, but I haven't looked it up, so that's it. that'd be an eBay piece. We got some pop figures. We got, actually we got a couple bikes over here. Got a couple bicycles right here. Um, we actually do, so we're gonna do online auctions now too. So make sure you check the links below. Um, we'll put a link to our high bid auctions. We're gonna try to do at least bi-weekly auctions, if not weekly auctions. We're gonna offer shipping. So all you not in the area that are interested in our stuff, see it on auction, check our terms and condition. We're gonna do shipping for you. Um, we got a box. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll move around here. I'll put it up here. We got a box 
And I don't know a lot about this, but I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of people doing loot crates. I think it's some kind of gamer toy. So I got a loot crate with a bunch of little game pins, the big Lebowski loot pins. And so we got to look all that stuff up. We got, Kayla, grab that for me. We got some different toys in here Sonic, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Great 80s movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. They made two parts to it, and actually they're coming out with a third part now. Can't wait to see it. Some more toys. Aliens. So this is all stuff we got to look up. Loot Crate toys. That's Dolores and Arnold. Westworld. I don't even know who that is. Um, got shoes. We still got bags everywhere to go through. A lot of clothes. A lot of jerseys. Ice skates. A lot of new product. So don't let trash bags... Don't let trash bags deceive you. I mean... I pretty much knew it was probably closed. That's what I was counting on. My wife needed some clothes for her sales. So I said, I'll buy it for her. And then I started going through it. A lot of new products. There's a lot, like people had a shopping habit, ball stuff, throwing bags. Dog beds, new with tags. Jerseys, new with tags. Shoes, new with tags. A lot of hats. Kayla keeps wanting me to show you hats. So we got some hats, some fitted hats, some non-fitted hats. Got the calves, they're not very good. The bulls, they're not very good. I'm a Redskins fan. The Ravens aren't very good. Lamar Jackson, he didn't run wild on Tennessee this year if you watch the playoffs. Um, what do the Redskins do? Huh? They got a second round draft pick. That's all that matters. <laughs> Falcons. Got the Miami Heat. Lions. And Kayla is dying for me to do this. So we got the flag. That's the Captain Buddy song, Kayla. <laughs> no. We got the flag. <laughs> We got, I don't even know what this is, a cat? It's a panther. It's a panther, black panther. Wakanda forever! I think it's how he did on black panther. Where's my hat? Give me my hat back. That's my hat now. A lot of new product in box. A lot of new product in box. So this is all stuff we probably just put on our online sales. Start them at a dollar, whatever it brings. Whatever that is. Backpack, dinner will cover. We got some product in the floor. Hey, just pan around, showing you product. Dog beds, we got costumes, we got every guy near needs this. Every guy. If you if you like beer, that's a costume for you. You can actually dress up like a pint of beer. Hey, if we get if we have if we get a hundred likes on this video, you're gonna put that on through the whole processing in the next video. I don't even know I'm gonna fit it. If you it doesn't noticed, matter. You have to try. If you haven't noticed, you got costume probably is not gonna fit me. You, it's a doll. You have to hem it. It says one size fits most. There you go. The, the term most probably doesn't apply. It probably doesn't apply to me. If it was all, then maybe. But that's the beer. Dress up like a beer. There's some tools, some battery chargers that's down here. Nice. There's a gaming computer right there. I think that's a gaming computer. It's a base 80. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't do a lot of gaming online, but I think that's a gaming computer. If it is, that could be some decent money. Some golf clubs, suitcases. So for $464, I think I maybe had 200 bucks in labor. My wife's already pulled a bunch of clothes out for Poshmark and that kind of stuff. I've got the shoes over here. The shoes should sell. I'll have Hayden sell them for me. Um, we'll do a lot of this stuff in online auction. I got something behind me. Cabbage Patch Kids, they're not really that famous anymore. Um, sleeping bags, like I said, a lot of product, a lot of sellable product. So you flea market people, this is a type of locker for you because this is the stuff that'll make you some good money at flea market. We'll probably put a lot of it in our online sales and start at a dollar, whatever it brings. I don't see how we don't at least triple our money on this locker with the amount of shoes. Take the shoes at $5 a pair. There's probably a couple hundred pairs. Easy. We'll just say $100 a pair at $5. $5 is a low number because, like I said, we're conservative. 500 bucks in shoes. Probably a lot more than that. We've got Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. We've got some sleeping bags. So overall, the way to make money... Don't judge a book by cover. Oh, we got a metal detector. That's one of the reasons I bought it. So I do a lot of metal detecting, and I could see this metal detector, and I knew it wasn't a really good metal detector, so this is not something that someone who does a lot of metal detecting is gonna buy, but a beginner would probably buy this. It's a beach metal detector, it's a Viper Trident. If you're looking for a detector for the beach, this is not the one for you. I'm not trying to downplay the detector, but it's a common detector people sell. They bought this from Kelly Co., which is a big metal detecting uh, company out of Florida. These things are like 350 bucks new. Used though, it's a good PI, pulse inducted metal detector. It's, it's an easy 
$150, $200. Bucks. Um, don't discount metal detectors. You see them, look them up. Because metal detectors now with the technology, them things get crazy. I mean, I have a detector at the house that I paid three grand for. So don't discount metal detectors. Look them up. They're really good. Cool, fun hobby to do. Um, so we'll sell this on an online auction. We got some video games in the floor. This thing's actually on. A lot of good... See, it's working. It's telling me something's here. There. Now I got to turn it off. So a lot of a lot of cool product to sell. Got some coolers. A lot of a lot of good stuff for online auction. Now here's something that'll do real good too. Have you ever heard of Ducks Unlimited, Quail Unlimited? That's Quail Unlimited bag. Somebody probably bought this at a silent auction. And probably paid 50 bucks, 100 bucks. That bag right there will do 25 bucks all day long. Quail Unlimited got the little logo. That's a cool piece. I think we got some Wii stuff, which I don't even know if anybody plays Wii. So, we'll triple our money. That's the name of the game, triple our money. You know, not bad for 100 trash bags in a unit. Um, we showed you the picture, so, like I said, name of this game, buying quantity at the right price. You buy quantity at the right price, sometimes you do good, sometimes you do bad, but, you know, if you know what you're looking for, profiling units, you can make some good money in this business. Don't overpay. If, you, if, you, if your gut tells you, hey, that's only a $200 locker, follow your gut. It's probably going to be right most of the time. Don't get into competitive bidding where i got to prove that I have more money than the next guy because that's how you lose money. Buy what, you, buy what you know you can sell, learn about things you can't, and expand from there. Like I said, it, don't take it personal if you get outbid. Hey, there's always another day. Sometimes you win by going home with money in your pocket. That is a fact. 